everybody welcome back to the cathedral velvet podcast i am your horse not horse your host of course as always pat Jusho, and welcome back uh two weeks again has come and passed and you know not not much stuff has happened you know like at least in terms of news but like you know in in real world stuff uh well let, let's see um I know last time we talked about my whole phone issue. Uh, this time around, uh, you know, games have been played. You know, yeah, whole whole shocker, right? <laughs> Playing games. Uh, well, uh, this past what was it? Like uh, last week or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to get uh, the copy of. Well, I was. I'm playing uh, uh, Master Detective Archives. Uh, Rank Code. So yeah, that was supposed to come in basically like by the end of june yeah by the end of june but unfortunately uh amazon is just like yeah we're, we're gonna have to delay that and then delay it again until it arrives on thursday yeah it, it, it came in on on thursday i believe and now i'm, now I'm slowly getting, getting into it now i'm like i'm actually like fully into the game just uh it took a, a, a while like uh, like the 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 episode or like the chapter uh stuff is like a bit weird because like the first chapter is like chapter zero and then it goes after chapter zero is done it goes into prologue and then it goes into chapter one so just like all right okay so i've already played three chapters of the game or at least starting on my third chapter of the game and uh i'm not even sure how many more chapters there are in the game it's just like oh wow that that is that is taking a, a bit you know you know kind of, kind of taking their time to like you know uh 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 get, getting yourself in, into the game and all that stuff like it, it is interesting and it's a uh, it, i'm still not i'm just, like so very early on in chapter one so I'm still still looking all around, trying trying to see what, what else I can do, but like it's it's overall pretty good. It's all right. Um, I did a for a let's try it on the main channel. So if you guys want to check that out, please do. Uh, it's almost two hours long, and I wasn't even close to finishing uh the the beginning uh the beginning chapter. So yeah, it 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 will take you a bit. But like the the voice casting is is good so far uh like there's a character who i legit thought was voiced by uh i thought it was a voice by um uh well what was it? matt mercer yeah i thought he was voiced by matt mercer but no no it's not voiced by him it's a voice by a different person so it's just like oh wow they really sound similar when doing a certain voice so yeah you know it's, it's not bad it's not bad at all and also, uh, like in, in me time between, you know, uh, in between episodes, uh, I I also started up uh, Yakuza Kiwami. So yeah, just trying to like you know get get more into the Yakuza stuff before Gaiden comes in and uh, and uh, like a Dragon Eight happens. So yeah, j just slowly make my way through it. I think I'm currently on chapter seven, I believe. And I think I have like just over 20 hours or so. So I'm really trying to like balance out like, okay, which game do I play today and all that stuff. But like, it, it is a, it's pretty fun playing Yakuza Kiwami. It's a, uh, if you guys don't know, Ki what, Yakuza Kiwami is a remake of the first Yakuza game, you know, with the uh, modern graphics at, for the time, I think it came out in 20? 15 2016 around that time and uh and it, it's, it's not that bad it's not that bad um i also like uh in like in playing to play you know uh kiwami one i also buy kiwami two just like you know j just to add to the collection let me just let me just grab kiwami two just in case <laughs> uh like i did play the demo of it while it was available so just like yeah yeah sure sure and I, I played through it a little bit, and it's like, yeah, it's a pretty fun uh, demo. And, like, the graphics style is like, oh, wow, this, this is, like, very, very different compared to Zero. 
Like, it, it definitely looks high quality on the demo. Still haven't touched the, the full game. But uh, eventually, I'll, I'll get to it one day. One day, I'll get to it. But um, besides that, um, let's see, let's see. Um, still trying to edit up the stuff for um, FES. That's also a thing. Um, work's been a thing. You know, just uh, you know, continuing on working. Just... You know, employees don't don't really help out that much, so it's that that that's also a thing. So yeah, it well, work works out. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and I was, almost forgot that um, finally that my copy of River City Girls Two came in after it's been out for a month or two or something like that. It's been well over a month. I know that for sure. Like I ordered that alongside the um, the slip box for uh, River City Girls two and I mean River City one and zero, so I guess that's why like it took so long. So they shipped out at the same time, and the kind of wish is just like I mean like like they open up the pre orders at the same time. So just like oh yeah, so we will get it in at the same time, right? Yeah, no, no, just like uh. It's gonna take an extra while. Wish they would say that, you know, because like you, you think like the box would come in sooner, but no, like the game came out sooner than than the box. So just like, how how, how could that be a thing? You know, I think like you know at least you know with the game production cards, like it, it'll take a lot, it'll take a while, but like uh, but with the box, it's like it's just cardboard, you know. But uh, who 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 knows? I I I have no idea what's going on uh, with um with, with game development behind the scenes and whatnot. I'm guessing stuff has to be approved with with all that stuff. Uh, I'm guessing that that's that's the whole thing. So yeah, it it'll it'll be a little bit annoying. I haven't really bought much stuff from uh uh limited run recently but uh i'm definitely checking out their um lgr uh, no, lrg3 that's happening uh this wednesday so it'll be out by the time this comes out for patreon members so uh if you are you guys are you know patreon members please uh uh well first of all thank you if you are if you are pa patrons but uh if you aren't make sure you do just uh, a little as uh as low as what I believe like three dollars or even just a dollar to to help you boy out and you also get more bonuses as as you uh if you donate even more so thank you guys for um uh, donating to the patreon if you guys haven't please do links will be in the description as always in every episode but again thank you guys for all your support and yeah we, we we're we're on episode eight i believe eight or nine so we're 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 getting close to episode 10 not sure what we're gonna do for episode 10 but uh it's gonna be an episode <laughs> and also th this kind of brings me uh what well, wants me to br bring bring this up for you guys uh just a question because i know like um last episode well the series like is more of like a, a bi-monthly you no know, series and then there's gonna be the, the occasional you know, oh, there's a third, there's a fifth, well, a five-week month, so there's going to be a third episode, technically, so I wanted to get you guys, you know, little thoughts about, like, you know, well, what should we do for the, you know, the third uh, episode for that month, because, you know, I think it should be something special, because it doesn't have been all often, so, you know, just, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, what we should, what we should do for, uh, you know, uh, the third week episode uh, of the month. Like, I was thinking maybe do like live stream of the episode. Just uh, you know, let me get, let me know uh, in the comment section down below. This episode of the Cathedral of Rabbit podcast is sponsored by Dubby. Dubby is a clean energy drink that's made to give you focus with no crash, jitters, or inks like other energy drinks. There's also no filters or artificial dyes. Dubby contains vitamins like B3, B6, C, 
amino acids, and 150 milligrams of caffeine. W allows you to have faster reaction times paired with laser sharp focus. They have a variety of tubs, shakers, accessories to choose from. If you want to start winning more, they made this for you. Go to the first link in the description below and use code POWERJ at checkout to save 10% on your order. That's POWERJ at checkout to save 10% on your order. Thank you for W for sponsoring this episode. Now back to the show. So with that out of the way, let's get into some news. So first, um, we got a couple. We don't have that much news. Um, Anime, uh, Anime Expo happened this past weekend, I believe. No, no, it, it happened last weekend. It happened last weekend. And so we got some news about stuff that came out of there. And then we got some community stuff that I, that I want to... Uh, a uh, shout out because this is like really great. So let's start off with, with the community news. So let's just switch on over here. So we're on Reddit right now, and the user of the username uh, Gary Frost yeah, made a full English translation of the 50 minute Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne documentary featuring Kazuma uh, Kaneko and Kozi Okada. So that is amazing. Uh, says here uh th there is a partially translated english version out there but i don't think there was ever a fully translated one until now after 20 years i worked hard on this if you're interested in the nocturne's development process and some of the ideas represented in the games it's worth watch so he he didn't buy himself a full like near 50 minutes um uh, 50 minutes uh, video translation of the development of Nocturne. So that is very, that's very awesome. You know, not, not even the devs, you know, did this translation themselves. The guy got the fans doing this. So I'm glad, you know, seeing the fans doing this, you know, did this, this is very important for, you know, like, uh, you know, knowing, you know, game development, all of that stuff. Some things we haven't even seen, you know, like in the SMT Persona universe. So again, uh, this guy is uh, Gary Translations. Please check him out. Uh, I'll leave the office, I'll leave the um, the Reddit link down in the description below, so you guys can uh, check it out for yourself. And it's almost 50 minutes long. It, it, it's a hefty one. It's a hefty one. So next up, we're going to Persona Central. As always, we're going to leave the links. From a Persona Central down in the description, we don't have that many news. Uh, so, so some stuff we are, I think, it's not that important. But you guys can always say like, "Oh, you should cover this in the last episode and whatnot." Just you know, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you know what you guys think about you know some of the news I, I've been covering and all that stuff. You know, which article articles I could have. Uh, cover you know and you can also let me know on uh on twitter both at power g show and at uh cave well c a underscore v e underscore underscore pod on twitter so you guys can let me know if there's any other articles i haven't seen you know and i can put on the line for um uh, for for the next episodes please please do that L let me know if i happen to miss some stuff so the first article we're going to be taking a look at is Sega's present discussed metaphor, Refantasio, uniqueness, Persona 3's reload development length. Okay, so, yep, right after uh, 4th of July, July 5th. So, the latest issue of Weekly Famitsu Magazine, 1805, uh, includes an interview with Yukio Sugino, uh, the president and CEO. COO who oversees Sega Sammy's entertainment business. He joined Sega in 1993 and have served as Atlas president following the company's acquisition in 2014. The interview includes several big questions about the impact of COVID on game development, global marketing, and other big Sega franch franchises. Below are the questions and answers relevant to the Atlas games. So the global market. <clears throat> How do you view the Japanese market in the context of your global expansion? Sugino, 
Uh, looking at the consumer packaged goods business exclusively, overseas sales now account for more than 80% of the total sales. Holy crap. Holy cow. I mean, yeah, because overseas is much bigger than just Japan, you know. <laughs> However, this, this does not mean that we do not value Japan. Japanese customers do not only buy our games, but attend live show, shows, concerts, and buy merchandise and participate in various events. Additionally, Like a Dragon and Persona are beginning to sell well overseas because Japanese users recognize the value of these games in the first place. In that sense, J Japan is an important market, and I believe in a prerequisite to create games that Japanese people find interesting. So are you so you are saying that you don't make games with particular con consideration for the overseas market? On the other hand, do you have a strong consideration for the Japanese market? Uh, Sugino says, we value users around the world equally. We may change uh, promotional images depending on regional tastes, but the games themselves are made with the aim of satisfy satisfying people globally. In the past, we sometimes focused too much on the overseas market and at times on the Japanese market, but we now have the ability to produce games with an equal focus around the world. Okay, so you know, glad to see that Sugino's understanding that yeah there is a market overseas but we can't you know just forget about you know the japanese market too because we get made games for japanese people like where they're the first market you know first you know like it's made in japan so we also got to know what the japanese gamers have to play you know what the japanese gamers like to play so yeah just just they they recognize that there, there are gamers worldwide <laughs> So yeah, that, that that's 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 nice to to see. Just you know, having built to you know make games for, for all around the world, pr pretty great, pretty great. You may have a little uh, screenshot of uh, P three R E with a uh, Yuka, uh, Yukari and Fuka in. I think that's uh, Fuka's room. For sure, maybe. I'm not really sure. It's the first time seeing seeing this in, seeing this image. But uh, Alice's flagship IPs. I think Alice fans must must have been surprised to see three new tiles announced in a row. Sigino so, says, Metaphor Reaping Zero is a completely new tile that that the Alice team is developing under the new Studio Zero. The goal was to create a RPG from scratch that would be a milestone for Alice for generations to come. Ever since I saw the initial plot, I've been waiting impatiently for the day that we could announce it. It has been a long time since the announcement of the project in December 2016 <laughs> to the official announcement last month. Tw December 2016. December 20. Like that, I was like just a year out, out of, <laughs> well, a year out of high school. Uh, well, let, let, let's make this, uh, well, it's more like a, a year into college, basically. <laughs> So, uh, Sagina says, the idea for this project came up right after the development of Persona 5 ended, so it's taken quite a long time. Oh, yeah, it definitely took a long time. It will not be released for a little while, but it's a game unlike anything seen before, so I hope you look forward to it. Yep. And the two new tiles in the Persona series were announced. Sagina says, Persona 5 Tactica is, is a game packed with enjoyability. Also, when Persona transitioned from Persona 2 to Persona 3, many people had felt that the series has changed, with developing Persona 3 Royal in order to not betray someone, not to betray everyone's memories. Even though it's a remake, we spent so long developing it that it have it could have been a whole new Alice RPG. So whether or not you played the game back then, I hope you enjoy. Yeah, uh. Persona 5 Tactica is definitely a game that's coming out soon. But it's not, it's not a game that a lot of people are hype about, especially compared to Persona 3, and then, obviously, Metaphor. So, and not gonna lie, we have, I feel like people are in that, uh, that Persona 5 fatigue. Like, I definitely am, just that we've just been getting so many, so much Persona 5 content. It, you know, even though it's like, you know, a different genre for Persona 5. And it's, you know, a, little, a new art style, 
It's just that so much of Persona 5 content has just been released so fast. Just like, yeah, we're, we're kind of a bit tired of it. At least I am. You know, I, at least I am. And a few people that I've seen uh, talking online, just like, yeah, well, I'm kind of sick of Persona 5, you know. But at, at least they're, it, it, it's coming out soon. We got uh, three, four months away. It's yeah about four months away so it'll it'll come out soon it'll come out soon but not a bad interview with a famitsu and sugino let's see you know i'll listen to uh obviously having having noticed the noticing the worldwide uh crowd and not forgetting that japanese market exists so yeah great so next article we're gonna cover is Talking about survive.gov. <laughs> so the the Nyahu News. So I I haven't covered the first one because uh I'm not gonna lie, just like Persona 5 Tactical is not not really not not really that big in focus on, on the main channel. Like I haven't even like I know there was like some character trailers that I I haven't even looked at yet, so yeah it's just like uh persona 5 like i love persona 5 but now i'm just like uh, i'm a little bit tired i'm a little bit tired of it so we're, 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 let's cover this let's cover this so alice has released the second volume of their their nyahu news of series for persona 5 tactical uh, detailing various elements of the game including stories characters and mechanics so one of the first things that they're covering is the kingdom Fan Thieves of Hearts were sent to a mysterious other world and attacked by a group called the Legionnaires. As he tries to resist, Murray, the king, the kingdom's ruler and leader of the Legion. Okay, so two different spelling of the Legionnaires <laughs> appear and brainwashes everyone except Joker and Morgana. After being rescued by the leader of the Rebel Corps, uh, Arena, uh, they learn that the world they have arrived in is called the Kingdom. With Arena's help, they have managed to escape Marie's pursuit. But for some reason, the Rebel Corps hideout just looks looks just like LeBlanc's. Okay. What is, this, what is this new other world that is a kingdom and not a palace? Why is LeBlanc in such a strange place? Save the brainwashed fan thieves and solve the mysteries of the kingdom. Okay, so on screen here, we got a little uh, image featuring a... Uh, Make sure uh, uh, arenas, but I seen arenas and I seen L. Which, I'm not sure which one is which, but uh, yeah. So the first image is uh, Arena, Morgana, and Joker, and we see a little image of LeBlanc. And then the next image looks like a. Uh, seems like this might be seen where uh, the rest of the fan thieves are being brainwashed. And Ryuji's the main focus. And there we go. We have the the other fan thieves brainwashed. Got a ring over over their necks. Basically, like oh, they're they're like a, they're engaged with with Marie here. And just like you're gonna be part of our you're you're part of my marriage. So yeah, and, you know I don't know why I don't know why, but like anytime I like I see like pizzazz or just like like. Like, I don't know why, but like these eyes are just like interesting. Like, I don't know why. It's just weird that like those eyes just like is like kind of interesting to me. But anyways, uh, the the purpose is a wedding. Marie's kingdom is ruled by the tyrant Marie, like Marie Antoinette, right? And their armed groups of legionnaires. Marie is holding onto power and abusing her people for the purpose of holding a grand wedding. Joker and Morgana have made a deal to cooperate with the Rebel Corps. First, they go to the rescue. First, they go to the rescue. The uh, other members of the fan thieves. However, the person they find in the prison is a man named uh, Toshiro uh, Kasukabe. I'm going to guess he's another party member that we're going to be seeing. Toshiro Kusa, oh, Kusukabe. Probably going to be another party member next to a uh, uh, arena. Uh, Toshiro seems to be a politician from the real world. However, he claims he has no memories of why he was trapped in the other world. 
despite this uh, suspicious, uh, Joker and friends dis decide to take him to take care of him for now. They then receive the breaking news that Marie has found a marriage part marriage partner. It's probably Ryuji, right? Just like that scene where he looks kind of demonic. So more screenshots, and that just brings it to another link. So it looks like an all-out attack. And let me just uh just send it this. So it looks like an all-out attack. And then well, let's head back over here. And now this is Marie and her army. And I'm guessing this is this is her grand entrance, probably. <laughs> Game where he getting angry over Morgana and Joker. And this is the politician, right? So again, uh it, it is Toshiro Kasukabe. He will most likely gonna have a, a persona, right? I'm pretty sure he's gonna have persona. But uh anyways. Just fix that. Okay. So now the characters. Ryuji Sakamoto, a boy who was once driven by anger by his PE teacher's abuse and labeled as a problem child. He wandered into another world with a protagonist and awoke to his persona abilities. He became friends with the protagonist who had his own circumstances and formed the fan of Thieves of Heart to fight against adults with twisted desires. Yep, that's a war of Ryuji. He's quick to pick fights but is kind and has a sense of justice and courage that allows him to face any opponent head on for the sake of his friends or their oppressed. His persona is Captain Kid. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen you know, or played any Persona 5, hey, here we go. So a little bit of Yuji there. And then we gotta head on back. Alright. Now let me just fix this image for you guys again. And there, there we go. So Captain Kid and Ryuji, of course. Ryuji summoning his persona, sing to attack. And with Ryuji and Joker with the politician again. Well, not again, the first time we've seen this. And we got an anime cutscene with uh, Makoto there. Alright. Let me just fix this. Uh, and Takamaki. A quarter, a quarter American girl with outstanding looks. So, you know, I never actually... I thought she was just half uh, half American. But no, quarter. It, like the the core really stands out. I'm not gonna like either either that she, either her she dyed it or that is actually her natural hair, but um yeah I never knew it was quarter. Yeah, just like <laughs> so like who like is one of her parents like one of them has to be like either full Japanese no, or I'm guessing like her parents are like both halves perhaps or like one is half and then one is one's half Japanese one half English while the other one's full Japanese so that's where the quarter comes in I guess but anyways anyways I'm, I'm rambling too much <laughs> uh, she was once isolated due to her appearance and put herself in harm's way to protect her best friend the only one who understood the only one who understood her she decides to join with the protagonist and rebel against those Ron adults. She awakens to a persona of building and becomes one of the fan thieves of hearts. She's kind and can't abandon weak people and a strong will that won't shy away from evil. She is good at English, but aside of that, her, her grades are on par with Ryuji's. Her persona is Carmen. So, yep. The design is I, I don't know why like, I'm I'm also getting a sense of like a uh, painting and stalking you know art style vibes from from this I don't know uh, that's probably just me I was like the little inconsistency with the gloves like l look at the length here and then look at the length here like it, the, the, those are just like very very different length gloves <laughs> but now we can see uh, more artwork of her and her persona, her summoning of the persona. Oh, group with the uh, Arena, uh, Futaba, on and Joker, and more anime cutscenes. So pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. Like the art style is really cute. I do like that. Okay, now Toshiro Kazukabe, a young diet member. 
thought to be in the line to be the next prime minister. He was saved by the fam thieves when trapped in, a, in another world, leading them, leading to them working together. He has a serious and logical personality, and he has a good sense of strategy. He's the commanding type who is good at taking it down, who's good at taking down, ugh, who is good at taking top-down look at a situation. However, is afraid of fighting and getting hurt. So, like, we're how how is that thing like oh i'm really good at a top-down look <laughs> like wh where does that come from <laughs> but again i feel like he's gonna be persona user he he will most likely gonna be persona user he's gonna get over his his fear of fighting getting hurt and just like say like i i gotta get hurt so, so i can protect my friends and all that stuff that is most likely gonna happen with him like similar to with the um uh, Irena, like she, she does have a persona yet, so she most likely will will awaken one in, in this, similar to like a uh, with Persona Five the Strikers. You got two characters in the game. Oh, they don't have personas. Oh, now they do. So she, they, those two will definitely get get personas at one point in the game. So a little close look at the images. So. Seems like Tojiro is just like, I'm guessing like, is that a talking cat? <laughs> and little image, most definitely like, like he just looks plain. He looks boring. One way to make him more interesting, give him fan of these outfit. <laughs> he's most likely going to get that. What, what, what do you guys think? Like, do you think he's going to get an outfit? I mean, he's going to be part of the fan of these. Like, let me know in the comment section. Then more shocking, and then he's like, he's like, go forward. <laughs> so yeah, there's that, and then going over the combat system. So there's cover. During the battles in this title, it is important to take advantage of cover by hiding behind walls like fam thieves. If you turn, if you end a turn whilst covering, you will be in a guard state, which will reduce damage from. The enemy or completely negated if you take damage from an enemy whilst not not guarding the enemy will activate one more and attack again so be aware of your actions when near a wall okay so like very simple tactics kind of thing if you play you know like a uh, mario plus rabbits or XCOM, this is a kind of thing that that they do so it seems like this is a very early area uh at least, you know, it would be, I, uh, well, I think Ryuji's just got part of the, the team, so maybe. And then it looks like uh, an action might happen, or this happens when you hit guard, perhaps. So hit hidden enemies with one more with cooperation. Enemies will use cover, uh, use melee attacks on enemies hiding behind walls. It is a it is possible to end their guard state by pushing them away from the wall. If you then attack that enemy with another ally, you can activate one more. So if an enemy is guarding, knock them out of cover to, to create a one more opportunity. So yeah, uh, if you push an enemy or like you're right next to an enemy who's standing by a wall, attack them, they'll get them out of their guard state and then do them one more, more damage. Pretty good, pretty good. So give status elements with personas. This works differently from the conventional weakness exploitation system that is usually found in the series. It has been changed to a system where each attribute will give a different negative status element. Agi will cause an enemy to take damage at the end of the turn. Uh, and Zio will cause the enemy to be unable to move for one turn. Additionally, Dealing damage to enemies in cover with skills can cancel their guard save. Oh, okay, that, that's pretty good. Use skills to your advantage by giving negative status ailments or canceling the guard state guard state to create an opportunity for the next one more. Yeah, um, I seen a pose on Reddit like someone said, "Oh look, uh, you know, uh, like uh, like it showed. I think it was a screenshot of." P5T, yeah, P5T and showing like, uh, oh, Agi, burn, freeze, uh, or, well, Bufu, freeze. 
and then it was i believe uh nuke and radiation i believe something like that and people were just like oh look uh, you know nuke is actually radiation or, or something like that it was just like no no it, it's just for this game it, it's just for this game so you, you can see a little bit that uh, uh the enemies got hit with shock and there's a little chance happening there and then on top there looks like a shock times one so enemies got shocked so that's okay and then got one more action from uh, ryuji by looks like hitting the enemy's weakness now we can turn to tide with unique skills during the battles the star shaped voltage uh voltage gauge at the lower right of the screen will increase by damage damaging or taking damage from enemies when it builds to the maximum the character's unique skills can be activated they have varying effects from dealing high damage to providing supporting effects don't give up when disadvantage and aim for a comeback with unique skill oh we got we got so many uh screenshots here so i'll be that's a major attack by uh captain kid and ryuji looks like it hit a like a line of enemies so that, that's pretty good uh yeah then there's the vultures there right like right above ryuji's head so i'm guessing like you know by hitting multiple enemies in like this row like it'll cause maybe the voltage meter to rise okay and then got more screenshots i was about to say like what, what's going on here it's is that related to what's happening or maybe like uh the screenshot is related to you know uh the voltage meter and that'll cause a special attack perhaps who knows who knows but uh continuing on uh got another screenshot with morgana uh joker and arena looks like uh well morgana might hit this uh guarded enemy here uh but oh no no it's a uh, arena's turn so she might be able to hit the guarded enemy the next one uh joker's about to either shoot this enemy or something else but there's also um a flagpole right in the middle of the screen there not i'm not sure if that's related to um this image with arena putting down the flag maybe it is maybe it's not not really sure and Ryuji playing out uh, Captain Kid. All right, cool, cool. Hey, almost, almost done with, with this article. Uh, develop party members with the skill tree. All party members can be developed with the skill tree. GP growth points used for training can be attained through winning battles, raising the fan thieves levels, or by watching talk events where you can enjoy conversations with Cass. Acquiring skills can be reset at any time and GP will be funded or will be refunded. So you can try out various skills formations when creating your part own party. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if um, XCOM or uh, Mars plus Rabbids does this, but hey, that, that's cool. Having a skill tree uh, able to pawn certain skills. So there's some HP and SP, I'm guessing, uh, boost. Not sure if that, like, not sure if this is a, looks like a reflect, um, arrow, perhaps. Seeing, uh, probably some more attack damage, uh, movement up, perhaps. Uh, and then, oh, these arrows, or that's, is that a reflect, or is that just a counter? Maybe. I feel like the, the double arrows are the reflects, and the one is a counter. But I, I'm not really sure, can't really understand Japanese, so I, I, I can only assume so much. But I'm guessing like, oh, the, the smog kind of effects or, or if, um, status effects perhaps, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. I, I can only guess so much, I can only guess so much. Hey, you guys can tell me uh, what it is in the comment section down below. Please, please do. At the hideout, you can listen to conversations with your friends through talk. In the hideout, you can listen to conversations with your friends through talk. We, why? Like, it's literally just, just the same time. Like, just like at the hideout versus in the hideout. 
Not only can you see conversations that develop the story further, but you can also enjoy chats that uh, enjoy chats between never before seen. <laughs> but you can also enjoy chats between never seen before combinations. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing like uh, certain characters have have like real, you know, talk to talks. So I'm guessing like uh, between maybe like Haru and Yusuke or Haru and Futaba, those kind of conversations kind of thing. I guess you know, like Haru and uh, Ryuji too. So, I mean, th there's also, you know, I'm not sure. If, I mean, it's been a while, but then like a uh, dancing five dancing do something similar to that too or am i just imagining join the stories and conversations between characters with talk where you can see a glimpse of unexpected sides of the fan thieves and arena if you watch uh, the talks you can also gain gp which can be used in the skill tree so you can have fun whilst also developing your characters and okay on is in a wedding dress okay that, 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 that is something you, you wouldn't expect to see, but okay. And it also says uh, in the background, welcome to our wedding. Okay, so this is probably still in uh, uh, Marie's kingdom. And then we see the talk. But I also see in the background, uh, it says A-J-I-T, either U or O. I have no idea, but like also above that is it's prep. So, um, a, a Gito, a G2 perhaps. I have no idea what that would mean, but okay, that, that that's a thing. And then next is another conversation. Uh, I think it's Joker, Futaba and Arena. So yeah, I guess those are the different conversations. Oh, no, 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 no don't bring me back to the top. <laughs> uh yeah so that is this article you know, i'm learning you know, a bit more about uh you know persona 5 taka and this is gonna be my i'm not sure if this will continue to be my my, my true tra tactics you know um true tactics game compared to like uh uh Fa fire Emblem awakening or uh or the persona now persona uh, Devil Survivor 2, but uh, ho hopefully th this this will be a good game. No, it, it does really look. I really like the character designs and happening here. Uh, also, I didn't didn't mention that like the icons are using you know they're not, they're not using 3D uh, I uh, characters for for the you know talking scenes, just uh, just portraits. Which I wonder why they they went that way instead of uh using 3d models perhaps it's cheaper to just you know make the different uh, poses perhaps I i'm not really sure but uh hey if that's what they want to do that's what they want to do uh let's see let's see here uh well well let's talk about this one uh and x will happen and uh i think i did i not pull up the other but yeah th there was another uh Another uh, Tactica news from uh, Anime Expo. So, uh, when did this one come out? This was the tenth. Oh, yeah, I, I should have covered this one first. I thought I thought I pulled it up, but no. So yeah, there was a trailer. Uh, well, and Person Five Tacta was at uh, Anime Expo, which they had an English trailer with some new screenshots. So yay! So during Anime Expo panel, Alice has released a new English trailer for Persona 5 Tactica, giving an overview overview of Morgana, Joker, and uh, Irina, which I, I haven't even covered yet. <laughs> a special message from the uh, business producer uh, Atsushi Nomura was also released, with a bunch of screenshots of the game, which uh, do, 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 looks pretty cool, very nice. Driven to despair actions so yeah they, they do have their certain actions that they able to, they are able to do okay and not sure yep well that's all of them all right so yeah pretty short 
This portion of the podcast is sponsored by you, the patrons on patreon.com slash cafe podcast. As low as $3 a month, you can support me and the podcast with benefits such as exclusive posts, early access to the podcast, no in-video ads, your name scrolling in the video, and much more. So please consider supporting your boy over at patreon.com slash cafe podcast. And now back to the show. But uh, yeah, well, well, let's go into one of the bigger ones. Well, bigger article, go, go bigger. <laughs> uh, Persona 3 Reload was also at Anime Expo with trailer, new character arts, and screenshots. So during the Anime Expo panel, Alice released a new English gameplay trailer for Persona 3 Reload with a focus on Fuka, Yamagishi, Junpei Iori, and Mitsu Kirijo. So we've got English trailer, we've got the Japanese trailer, and then we've got the character arts. So Fukuyama Gishi, let me just uh, uh do, 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 mm. how do I do this last time? Uh, I this show this. There we go. So yeah, Fukuyama Gishi. Yeah, I got first look at her new uh well new newly drawn portrait, and then we got Mitsuru, and we got Akiko. Hey, and then we got some more screenshots. I think we can uh, just close this, show this. Yep, it's right in the middle. Okay. Okay, so most of these are most likely going to be Japanese. So I believe this is supposed to be the train scene, or uh, oh yeah, yeah, like with the full moon train boss. So there's that. Uh, this is where we're exploring inside of Tartars uh, through the skull, perhaps. Oh, yep, it's through with the with their persona. Looks really cool. I like the the new model looks absolutely amazing. Okay, and now uh, Fuka is attempting to join the team. Okay, Fuka talking to protagonist. Fuka bring out her persona. And oh yeah, we saw this uh, screenshot. Where was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was with the Sega President one. So there's an English and Japanese version. Okay, okay, that, that's pretty cool. That's nice. Hey Junpei and the crew, got Akiko, uh, him summoning his persona and striking down the enemy, and back to that. So. Uh, if you guys haven't seen uh, my main uh, my reaction to the trailer, it's it's pretty good trailer. Like I'm glad we're seeing you know the English footage of it, and we got our first look at uh, you know the English dub of it. So that is pretty interesting, you know, hearing the characters, and you know we have it's been a uh, basically a week or so since you know we first. Well, since I last heard it, and you guys can check out my reaction up on the main channel, please check it out. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll say some, some, some of this about, you know, the, the main cast. Um, um, the voice for, um, Gitsuru, it's pretty much on point with, um, with Tara Platt's, uh, voice. It basically sounds almost exactly like Tara Platt's, uh, voice. Um... Uh, Jupe's voice it, it, very similar to uh, to the original Junpe just a, a slightly higher slightly higher pitch I, I will say that um Yukari's new voice yeah she she, she, she sounds all right she, she sounds pretty good uh, Fuka she sounds I, I, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but it just sounds a bit too cute. If, if that's a thing, like, like she she sounds all right, but like as for Fuka, like mm, I don't know. Like for some reason, like I'm I'm not sure if I'm in the minority or the majority. But like, like people say that like uh, Fuka's original voice was just like bad, and I'm just like. Like in, in what sense? Like, like because of racial voice actress, like sounds fine. Like, she sounds like she did perfectly for for the for the role. And then, uh, 
from Persona 4 Arena onwards, uh, she was replaced by Wendy Lee. And, uh, like, I, I love Wendy Lee. Like, I do like her performance in, like, in many other uh, games and anime. It, it's absolutely great. As for Fuka, like, I'm, I'm torn on that. That's just, like... Like, I, I hear Wendy Lee and, like, a whole bunch of JRPGs, which is, like, best for Fuka. I don't think it, it really fits, fits her for, for that. But for the new voice for Fuka in this, um, I, I, I just think it fits her. And, like, the original voice, like, the visual voice for Fuka, like, she sounds all right. There's, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, people say, like, oh, she sounds emotionless. Just, like... I don't think like she's emotional. This is just like it's more awkward, and like Fuka is kind of awkward, but uh, I don't know. And like the last voice uh, that we hear from uh, in the trailer is um, Akiko, and I don't really care if I get black for this. Like, I don't really like it. Like, and I don't have you know I don't have any grudges or I don't hate like you know any of the new voice actors for for you know for you know this game uh it's just like it does not sound like it sounds like like Aki go but if he was an adult like he sounds too old like if i if i would if i would have to say he sounds too old compared to liam's performance where he sounds more raspy whereas um Kagi or Alejandro, whichever, like he sounds more, he sounds too old, like too, too rough versus, versus, um, rough and gruff versus Akiko, uh, versus, uh, Liam's, like more raspy take, you know? And like, I, I, I don't really like it. It sounds too, uh, Alejandro's voice just sounds like too old for, for Akiko. Just like, like, and he, he does, like, good performance, like, in any other, like, if, like, if Kagi, Kagi could do Akiko, if he, if it was in Persona 4 Arena, probably would fit him much better, much better, because he's older, you know, like, I, like, how many years older than, you know, the main team, so just, like, before, like, before this younger Akiko, I, it, he doesn't fit, I'm sorry, not sorry, he doesn't fit, uh, <laughs> but maybe that's just, that's just the trailer, that's just the trailer, if we can just hear a little bit more, maybe my thoughts would change a little bit, but that is just like, just from, from this trailer, that, that, that's, that's how I think, just like, K Kagi as Akio is like it, it's not that good of a fit at least in this trailer uh we're expected to get another uh trailer uh or more news not not exactly a trailer but more news on Persona 3 Reload on the next full moon and if I can I think it's sometime either later this month or in um August let me just make sure let me just pull this up uh on uh next full moon and that would be august 6th uh august 30th apparently so the next full moon should be or august 1st i don't know space.com versus just uh I i'm gonna go with space I'm gonna go with space.com because it's space. <laughs> but I think the the next full mood should be August. August first. Uh hopefully, hopefully, you know, uh well we'll the next the next uh information that we'll get about Persona 3 re reload will probably have um a uh, Ken Karmar probably and Shinji. So that th those will probably be the next characters I'll be focused, or maybe Strega as part of it too. But there are we're basically gonna get like new information every month essentially. So 
well, hopefully, you know, we'll, you know, those information that we'll get is, is significant, you know? And uh, a little just want to jump back to the voice actor thing. Like, I've seen, like, a comment saying, like, oh, they're not supposed to sound like the original voice actor. I, and, like, something about, like, oh, they, 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 they didn't get, you know, to hear the voice samples of the original voice actors. I mean, they, they can lie about that, you know? They can literally lie, say, like, oh, we haven't heard anything about the original voice actors or heard any voice clips of the original voice actors. They can literally lie. Like, I mean, like... They don't have to tell you the truth that they didn't hear it like or even like someone could have even played the games before you know even playing even even like uh, getting uh audition for for the audition for the roles or they took inspiration from from the the games before uh, auditioning you know we don't know we have no idea but like majority of the cast sounds similar to the original counterpart so it's to say that oh they they don't they have to sound similar when majority of the cows kind of already sound similar to the original and the game isn't like uh it's not like uh compared to other remakes where it's just like uh oh this is a different interpretation of the original game no this game is supposed to be faithful to the original game so saying like, oh, it's supposed to be a different take. Like, not when it's not when the game is supposed to be a faithful remake. You know, if it's something like, uh, well, well, what's a remake game that I have? Like, um, like, Samurai Kagura Burst Renewal. That's is a remake for of the 3DS game. It's it's a re it's a full on remake of that game, and it's supposed to be like faithful to uh that one which is so yeah they're, they're not gonna like make any major changes to it um yakuza kiwami i, I talked about earlier that that's supposed to be a fake that is a faithful re remake of the original game they're not gonna like oh yeah we're we're gonna you know make sure that you sound completely different from how you originally sound no no that, that, that that's not how they're they're gonna do that um Something else. Um, you know, I I don't really think I I, I buy that, that many remakes of games, or like like you know remakes with a different interpretation of you know how it over, how the original game was, or like I guess you know the the other game would be you know Final Fantasy VII remake because that is kind of supposed to be like a different interpretation of the original game. Whereas it's essentially like a sequel to the original seven, according to some people. So yeah, like how characters act compared from seven remake to the original seven. I wouldn't say like, oh yeah, yep, yeah, different interpretation of the game. So different voice actor, different how they say things. So yeah, but that uh, we're, 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 we're gonna get, we're gonna chill there. I, I that's a little rant that ran off a little bit too long but hey let me guys know what you guys think about like um the voice acting in the game like do you guys from from the trailer what what are your impressions not your final take of it just like what are you guys thinking about it do you think it's good do you think there's some bad qualities of it like w what are your impressions of it like leave it in the comment section down below and also um i, I believe on spotify you can you know respond to like any questions about it but like hey let me know spotify if you can i'm not sure about po apple podcast or google podcast but like if you are able to please let me know <laughs> so we got one last article and it is a persona 5 yes persona 5 but the phantom x p5x and got more information about that so um uh, yeah, Persona 5 Phantom X Tap Tap uh, Game Fest Overview Trailer Second Beta Scheduled for Q3 2023. Huh, alright. Uh, also, let me just. Bricks. Uh, don't know. Oh, oh. Uh. Just do that. There we go. There we go. Much better. Alright. Yeah, there we go. So I have not checked this out yet. I'm so behind on things. 
as previously announced, a new trailer for Persona 5 The Phantom X was revealed during the TapTap Tap Games Fest livestream. Uh, the trailer shows off new footage and revealed a new Phantom theme. Additionally, it was announced that the second beta test is planned to be held in the third quarter of 2023, featuring new characters, stories, and areas. Alright, so I want to check this out for myself. Uh, this will probably uh, be able to, uh, my main channel, so like, hey, let's do this. Um... Yeah, uh, let me make sure that the background music stops for a moment. So, uh, yep. Yeah. So, let's do this. Sega Atlas. Hold on. It's, it's on five again, right? <laughs> the train just cries into the station. Hey, it's our, it's our pro tag. Whoa, whoa, uh, Uber Eats, what, what, what's going on, what, what? <laughs> 大家好,我是女神英文路夜幕魅影的制作人老威。很荣幸的受邀本次TapTap游戏发布会来分享项目的最新情报。在今年三月进行的潜入测试中，我们初步向玩家展示了P5X的二测觉醒测试，即在还原P5裤槽的视听基础上，同时也致力为玩家呈现出原作标志性的都市模拟加日间冒险双核心玩法。哦，哦，
uh, basically hangouts slash dates. Okay, that's pretty good. 今年三月进行的潜入测试中，我们初步向玩家展示了 P5X Metaverse. Uh, looks like uh, 向玩家 Mementos here. 展示了 P5X 的游戏特色，即在还原 P. Now,、uh, obviously, this isn't running at uh, yeah, it's it's not running at 60, so not sure if the game will have 60 frames per second or not. But uh, we can just guess it might. And it also depends on the uh, also depends on the system you're playing on. It could be you know、uh, playing on mobile might not have 60, but PC most likely will have it. But、uh, looks like we got the the boss here, little Kamashita, little rip. Rip off or something like that. You can see the cave for Kamashita too, so maybe、uh, a friend of Kamashita, perhaps. He 为玩家呈现出原作标志性的都市模拟加异世界冒险双核心玩法 Okay, so let me just. Okay, so changing up the equipment weapon here. Okay. 异世界冒险双核心 And then can't really tell, but. I'm guessing we can just slide over to the next character if you want to switch. So, um, I believe the rest of these characters we have seen in、uh, previous news articles, so I don't think they they're new. Yeah, our new guy, which I'm surprised that no one has covered about what his name is. Uh okay um actually let me check this uh villain character uh sorry boy. P5X 的二测觉醒测试即将与玩家见面。新的剧情将起始于新的舞台。路边的 Yeah yeah again like Chi is here but she doesn't look look like this is supposed to be like in like the 2020s like uh I think it's supposed to be like 2023 I believe. So no no, it's supposed to be 2026, I think, from like the poster that、uh, that was shown off,、uh, but I can't remember where it was. But at least you know mid 2020s. So she she should look you know a little bit older, you know, have a little change in you know like a clothing at least you know. 山谷少女似乎遇见了主人公优喜参半的宿命。Yeah yeah, new guy definitely party member. <coughs> I feel like he's, I feel like he's a bit of a mix, probably of like Ryuji and Kanji. He's a bit of a loner. He's a tough guy. But he's you know active in sports. Kana, 虽然外表冷酷，但他也拥有属于自己的坚持。Yeah, just like he likes there's some like a. What wait? What are you talking about? Like, and then goes like, "Oops, my bad. I slipped accidentally." Something like that. Okay, so I'm guessing that is the palace mastermind for、uh, this place, and that looks really cool. That looks amazing. Like, I like all,、oh, like just have like a sort of like it looks golden at least in my point of view. I also have um the uh not like filter on, but uh yeah that that looks really cool. And you have like just a giant portal up in the middle. Oh, that 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 looks really nice.、That、looks amazing. Now who are you? Oh, you have golden eyes. Hmm. Yeah, she is, is. Yeah, this uh, the areas that she's at that that looks like mementos too. So like, is this another、uh, Jose's situation? Because like Jose was Jose's in Persona Five Royal. He's just there. His main purpose in this story was really nothing. <laughs> like he's there if you want to have an extra fight. That, that's something, but like his true purpose was like never shown off, and now we have、uh, another girl who has pink hair, but she has golden eyes. So that is something. Like and like 
and Jose had golden eyes too, but wasn't really related to the Valrum either. But could could she be re related to someone in Valrum? I doubt that. But like she just has a whole bunch of stuff in in like her basket on her head, like it, that looks like just like uh, well bags of probably coin. Is that <laughs> chopsticks? Uh, bento box perhaps. So probably she like is this mini store that's in uh mementos perhaps, and like oh hey you can buy some for me you know that'll help me out, you know help her eye out. <laughs> Now, this here, well, what the heck is happening here? Like, it looks like perhaps like a, like, like she, this is probably the fusion, right? Yeah, this is most likely a fusion, the new fusion for P5X. And now we see his uh, persona awaken. Alright, uh, you. Well, you know, we have not seen you. Are you a common rider? Are you a common rider? <laughs> that. <laughs> it would be wild if this is a common rider, <laughs> Phantom Thief. That that would be so cool. <laughs> he, he just got a belt. But like it seems like he's really like a he's more like space theme, or at least as as what what we can see of it. It, it feels like he he he's more space theme than a, than anything, right? Uh, just like I, the vibe of him is like space. I don't know why. And like that attack looks like just galaxies and the planets falling. Bruh, a cowboy with a Gatling gun. Y you will never see this anywhere else. I mean, maybe Mike, but like <laughs> that is. <laughs> he has a Gatling gun. Would you like some more? <laughs> Was you freaking McCree? Wanda, the Persona Five, the Phantom X, Jizen Toruk, Uketskechu. I don't know why, like, like when it comes to like Japanese, they always say like za da da da. Like you, they have to give it like a little break between the, like the words between the and then the rest of the word. <laughs> za animation, za Phantom X, za Royal. I, I don't know why they do that. Like, is it because, like, how they pronounce things or something like that? I mean, you guys can tell me in the comment section down below. That'd be, that'd be great, because I'm not that knowledgeable about everything. So, like, you guys help me be knowledgeable about things, okay? <laughs> but, like, it, this is, like, a pretty interesting, uh, pre pretty cool, cool trailer for, uh, for, uh, for P5X. Like, I... Let me check to see if there is uh if there's a name for um for that guy. If I can just look him up or just go on wiki perhaps. Uh uh Persona 5 of Phantom or Persona 5 X. Not sure if that's gonna work, if that's gonna shove. Uh okay, let's see characters. Uh, no, uh, nope. Uh, it might be June Kana. Let me just Google search that name. Um, P5X June Kata. Or if, if I spell, no, Kana, Kana. That could be that can mean something completely different from in a uh, another language. Let me just put on the background music. Uh, let me just see. <clears throat> uh, I think this is it. Oh, here we go. 
So, uh, we are on, uh, Scream of Faz's, uh, Twitter. I'll try to leave that in the description below. But, uh, hey, we've got subtitles. 之前与大家有过一面之缘的江大俊，也将作为本次故事的核心角色再次登场。all right, so we can see, uh, hmm, whatever happened to him in the store, what terrible experience. Jana, oh, and also, let me just turn this down, okay. Oh, yeah, he was All right, so, uh, Jun, Kana Jun, or Jun Kata, whichever. Uh, okay, so pretty nice. Uh, there will be a full video, so please check it out. Uh, Scramble Faz's uh, uh, Twitter for the uh, full video subtitle. If you guys want to check it out, I mean, I didn't know that until now, but hey, that is that is nice, that is great. That I, you know, we should you know, I, I'm more excited about uh, P5X compared to P5T, like, because these are like you know, new characters, you know. This is something brand new with the Persona 5 series that is not related to the main cast, you know? Like, it's cool, like, you know, like, if you're doing, like, a sequel, sequel to Persona 5 and not, and doesn't revolve around the main characters. I mean, that, that, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. But, uh, oh, man. Oh. I, I I do want 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 to you know see more. I'll, I'll definitely check out that uh, subtitle video after uh, after this uh, recording, uh, because that that is something I really want to check out. Want to know more information about P five X. Hopefully, really hope fingers crossed that this will get a uh, Western release maybe next year, because again like it's only announced for release in China and Southeast Asia. And I mean, with Southeast Asia, there could be English version. There could be, no, not a guarantee, but there English is a someone spoke spoken language there. I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Please, please do so. But um, <coughs> uh, oh yeah, we, we already checked here. I, I see like three comments here, but I'm only seeing two. But uh, oh well. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna call it a wrap here. I know it's like, oh man, it's only, it's barely an hour or so, but, uh, I, I do have some things I do gotta work on and I do have some, some, uh, some, something I gotta be prepared for tomorrow. So I think we're gonna call it here, but like the stuff that we've covered, like it, it, it is pretty impressive. Like, it's like knowing about the, uh, uh, SMT Nocturne documentary that is a fantastic find that and and a fantastic uh, fantastic work that's being done by community. Really glad you know someone did the work, like so someone has to do like like some of the like quote lost meter or like lost translation or no translation work on on this stuff. So like it can be explored too, like so it can be like you know shared to the world. I mean, I don't see the negative of just like, yeah, well, let's just keep it, you know, not subtitle or not, not dubbed or whatever. Like, there's more benefits to like, like bring this back out than to just like leave it like un, <laughs> like leave it untouched somewhere. And then, uh, you know, having, uh, the president saying like, oh yeah, we have, you know, fans outside of Japan, but also got to keep in mind that Japanese fans are important too. Yep. Then are obviously, obviously getting Persona guy, <laughs> getting a new Persona guy is gonna get Persona. Uh, yep, English trailer, obviously. Uh, that Anime Expo as well as Persona Three Royal, not Royal Reload, and more P5X news is always great. It's always great to to see more P5X. So let me know what you guys thought about, you know, this whole episode about, you know, the news that's came out from the past two weeks. Well, was there any news that you guys would want me to cover that I just didn't, you know, let me know there. What was a uh, highlight for this? Uh, what was, you know, like, uh, <clears throat> uh, 
like well, what, what do you think was the, the best news that, uh, that that came out this past two weeks let me know the, uh, in the comment section down below and like always please don't forget to if you're on youtube like subscribe share it share with all your friends uh if you're on uh spotify uh apple podcast google podcast make sure you follow this channel uh well on, on your specific platforms and on YouTube, so you guys can get the video versions, cause you guys, so you guys can see what's happening, not just uh, you know, just hearing my audio and whatnot. It'll be best if you guys watch the video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, check out the Patreon, uh, Patreon.com/slash CaveyPod. Yeah, yeah, CaveyPod or Cave Podcast. Uh, links down in the description below. Uh, any support to the Patreon would help me out greatly. And Check out the main channel on Power G Show. Links will all be in the description and some will be at the end card at the end of the video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. See ya!